use Fiverr services to build your own assets. Instead of reselling service providers' work on Fiverr, use them on yourself to create assets like Kindle books or your very own blog network. You then buy other Fiverr services like traffic services to enable you to make money from the assets other providers have built for you. Advantages The first advantage that you get using the system is that you buy cheap but proven services to create assets. The assets that you get are things that you can build once but make money from many times over. For example, take the case of a book. You can find a wide range of Kindle book cover designers, authors, and editors on Fiverr. After you've gotten their work and you've published the book on the Kindle self-publishing platform, you can make quite a bit of money over the life of a book. You only paid for the work to get published once, but the potential for earning is phenomenal because you can earn many times over from that same asset. The second advantage that you get is that you get to tap a wide selection of service providers. You have to remember that the quality of the asset that you build through Fiverr is completely dependent on the competence and quality of the service provider. Since you have a lot of selection on Fiverr, it's possible to pay very little while getting very high quality. I'm not saying that you should get your hopes up, but this is a possibility with Fiverr because they also have a lot of sophisticated filtration tools. You can quickly identify providers that charge very little but have a track record of delivering solid results. Do business with those people. Cost control is a key advantage to all of this. If you don't take anything from this section, please understand that when you're using Fiverr services to create assets that you control and own, you control your costs. By insisting on finding the very best service providers for the lowest prices, you can crank out a tremendous amount of assets. Now, this doesn't mean that all of them will be runaway hits. In fact, the vast majority of them might fail. But if you have enough assets out there, enough of them might generate cash and these trickles or tiny streams of income can combine soon enough into a nice river of monthly income. Not too shabby. Finally, given the huge selection of service providers on Fiverr, you can easily scale up your operations. You can actually get many books written at the same time. It's not unusual for Kindle publishers to become overnight big-time publishers by having hundreds of books published within a year. That's all doable if you connect with the right service providers on Fiverr. Disadvantages. I know you're excited. After all, with Fiverr's sophisticated filtration technology, you can find people who charge very little money but produce world-quality work. Sounds awesome, right? Unfortunately, you're not the only person looking for that type of provider. In fact, there's a long line of people looking for that type of contractor. What happens then is that it becomes very hard to find these people. You can still get them at very affordable rates, but you may have to wait in line assuming that they're available at all. Another drawback is that the best providers usually are doing it out of love. I remember when I first started out at writing, I advertised on Fiverr. I was getting a lot of work producing 1,000 words for five bucks. Well, as you know, after you take out Fiverr's fees, that $5 shrinks to $4. If you take out PayPal's fees, that $4 gets even smaller. However, I was willing to work that rate because, first of all, I love to write. Second, I know that I am learning, so I'm willing to pay my dues. Third, I want to get a nice flow of work so I can see if I can get used to that volume. I got all three. Now that I found out what I needed to learn, I have graduated from Fiverr. I no longer offer live gigs there. The vast majority of service providers on Fiverr now who offer writing services are from places like Nigeria, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. It's not unusual to find somebody to write 1,000 words for 5 bucks. In fact, some offer more than that. We're talking 2,000 words for 5 bucks. Depending on what your objectives are, this is too little money. Seriously. Don't be surprised if you're working 12 hours for only 4 bucks. Not exactly a fun time. I share this with you because the best providers sooner or later realize this. This doesn't mean that they'll all quit the platform. Some may still be available, but only for very little engagements. They can only take so much work because they have a day job. Others simply take a long break and they come back if they desperately need the money. Understand that this happens. This is why it's really a good idea to have a huge backup list. Never, ever assume that that amazing writer that you keep going back to again and again will eagerly take your projects over and over. They might have grabbed the clue. They might have better things to do, so have a backup list. Finally, even if you have identified the very best service provider for your type of asset on Fiverr, don't expect consistent quality. People do have a bad time. People may be in a hurry. People may be going through a bad breakup or divorce. All sorts of things can be happening in the background. Be aware of this. Be at peace with this and make provisions for this happening. Step-by-step -step directions. Step number one, pick your niche. I don't care whether you're publishing Kindle books or offering online courses or blogging. You need to be in the right niche. Otherwise, you're not going to make much money. Seriously, it really all boils down to demand. If you think you've come up with content that's the best thing since sliced bread, but nobody wants to read it or bother with it, 
then you're not going to make much money, so zero in on the right niche. Step number two, get best of breed services. You may have to spend quite a bit of cash trying to figure out which people actually know what they're doing. Go through that process. Step number three, fine tune the assets. Now that you've a good idea of which person produces the best asset, fine tune the process. Try to come up with the optimal way for them to produce high quality work each and every time. Step number four, scale up results. Now, figure out what is working for you, fix any problems, and then scale it up. If the service provider writing books for you can accommodate 10 books a week, then go for it. Assuming that there's no slippage in quality, go for it. Scale up your results because the more assets you have out there, the more streams of revenue they generate. These streams of revenue do add up.